Good morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Mary, and I'm here with Pastor Dan, and welcome to Stories and Song. Dan's telling me to move. Okay, I'm going to move over a little bit, but it's so good to be with you all, and we are here on the third Sunday of Advent, and I wonder if any of you have your candles lit this morning. Have you lit the candles in your Advent candle, your Advent wreath, or whatever you have? We have one here, and we're going to light ours right now. Here's our Advent wreath, which is actually Dan's mom, Dan's mom's um, Christmas stuff. So we love this. Dan's telling me where to go. Okay, down. <laughs> we are camera person, everything crazy. But anyway, so we have two candles lit, and we have to light them. Third one. So if you haven't lit your candles, why don't you light them too so we can have them all lit together? Yeah. Now, here we go. And I am here with Ollie and Olive, who just can't keep away from these stories and songs. Well, we've got to get another match. That happens, right? It happens to us. Anyway, they love the season of Advent. They love the darkness and they love the candles and they love the growing light so they're here with us now if pastor dan can get this lit oh 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 if you can do it you can do it dan there we go <laughs> oh are we gonna do it you think this is gonna work there we go three candles lit for advent okay so i'm gonna put these over here and we're, there's something I want to tell you about the third Sunday in Advent. And it's kind of interesting. It also has another name, and it's a, it's a really fancy name that you might not know this word. Um, a lot of us don't. But the word is Gaudate. This is also called Gaudate Sunday. And I wonder if any of you know what that means. You know what that word means, Gaudate? It's not, it's not a... A fungus, it's not a <laughs> disease. Gaudate. Well, I'll tell you, it I means. Know. Huh? Oh, hi, Ollie. Hi, hi, everybody. You know what that word means? <clears throat> of course. What does it mean? Well, I want you first to know that I have looked up that word uh -huh. in the Ulster Unabridged Dictionary. <laughs> Smart. So, what does it mean, Ollie? Tell us. Gaudate is rejoice. 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 Oh, so this is like rejoice. this is like rejoice Sunday. Yeah, I love that word. So, are you full? Are you rejoicing today? Oh, of course. Yes, it's, it's rejoice. It's the third Sunday. Yeah. Like you said. And I'm rejoicing. So, Yay. so that makes me think of a song. That maybe some of you know. So join me. Rejoice in the Lord always and again. I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again. I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. And again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. And again I say rejoice. This is a round, so we can try that. Rejoice in the Lord always and again. I say rejoice. Woo! Rejoice in the Lord always and again. I say rejoice. Woo! Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice, Woo rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Oh, you're a good oh. singer. Oh, thank you. You're sounding good today. So, and I, yeah. so rejoice. I'm wondering, do you know what that means, really? Do you know what rejoice means? I know. You do? I know. Of course you do. Yeah, well, like Laudate means rejoice. Yes, so what does rejoice mean? Rejoice means to feel joy or great delight or to give joy, like to to make somebody happy oh. or to be glad. Oh. Yeah, that's from the archaic meaning, which is to cause joy to another. Oh, yeah. so do you cause joy to another? Oh, yeah. Like you. Oh, am, I, am I causing joy you, to you? You, uh, you bring yeah. me lots of joy. Yeah. How about all of you? When do you feel joyful? When are you full of joy and bursting? 
I know for us, when we see our grandkids, even from a distance through the window or the door and we're waving, we are all bursting with joy just to see each other. Our hearts are just full of joy. Oh, hi, Olive. Nice to see you. Oh, so, okay, so we've talked about the word gaudate and rejoice. And there is another word I want us to learn today, but I'm not going to say it right now. And it comes, so you're going to have to just be quiet for a second, Ollie. I can do that. Can you? No, okay. I'm, I'm going to be quiet okay, now. You can just I'm be not going to say anything just, at all. Just, I'm just not going to, I'm going to be really, really quiet. I'm just going to sit back here with Olive. Excellent. Thank okay, you okay. for being so quiet. Okay. So this is a story of two women, and they're both pregnant, and it's in the first chapter of Luke. And Elizabeth and Mary are cousins, and they are both pregnant, and Mary is much younger, and she has found out she is pregnant, and she's scared and nervous, and she runs off to Elizabeth, her cousin's house, to be with her. And she comes into the door, and she greets her cousin, Elizabeth, who is older, and the baby in Elizabeth's tummy leaps for joy. Yeah, for joy. And Elizabeth blesses Mary, and great are you among women. And all, It's just this wonderful story. And then they are together, those three, for three months. And they support each other, and they care for each other, because they're both going to be mothers. Mothers. Elizabeth is going to be mother of John the Baptist, and Mary, of course, will be mother of Jesus, whose birth we are waiting for this Advent. And then Mary, when Elizabeth blesses her, you know what? Then what? she bursts into song, and she says, my soul magnifies the Lord. What does magnify mean? Do you know what magnify means? I no. I wonder who knows. I, I wonder. Know. I wonder Mary, who knows. I know. Okay, tell us. What is Mary? Okay, well, first of all, I looked this up in the Ulster Dictionary. Mm -hmm. And first of all, this isn't quite what you're looking for, but one part of the definition, which is what a word means. Okay, thank you. Yes, is it makes something appear bigger Ooh. than it is. Uh -huh. Like like with a microscope. Ooh. Yeah, or a lens, oh. or this is the best part, or like an owl's eyes, like Ollie's eyes, Ooh. or like, like, like Olive's eyes, oh. yes, but yeah. in the archaic, mm -hmm. you know, the old, that means yes. old, old okay. the old meaning, it means to extol or glory. Glorify. Glorify. Well, thanks to extol or glor Those are big words. They seem like happy and important words. Well, they're important words and to an owl. To an owl. Who mm -hmm. are very wise. Oh. They're just normal words. Oh, normal words for normal, an owl. Normal. You you fly about talking about extolling and magnifying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. My, right. yeah. So you can be quiet now for a second. Okay. Right. So magnify, like magnifying glass, which I have to use now when I cross stitch because I can't see. It makes it bigger. So what do you think that means? Mary, my soul magnifies the Lord, Mary says. Her soul is expanding and growing ever bigger, full of God's love, because she is giving birth to God. God's son, God's baby, Jesus. So her soul bursts and breaks forth. And that's amazing to think about. So I was thinking, we miss being together with all of you so much on Sunday mornings and other times in the week when we are worshiping together, when we're talking at coffee, when we bump into each other at the hallway, when you run down the ramp. And I was thinking, there are times when I'm sitting in the sanctuary during worship, and the congregation behind us is singing their guts out. And it is so beautiful, and it's so full, 
it's in four-part harmony that I can't sing. I have to stop singing because I'm crying and my soul is bursting. I, I wonder if that's what Mary felt like. I feel like my soul is magnifying the Lord because of all that beautiful singing. I, I'm speechless. I just sit there and I cry because it's too much. It's just too much. Pastor Mary, now, what do you want to say? I want to say that that was a beautiful thing you just said. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, thank that you. was so nice. Oh, yeah, thank yeah, you. you know, and sometimes owls' hearts are like bursting too. Oh. One time, sometimes it's when we can fly uh -huh. and fly at night when the moon is out. It's oh. so beautiful. And another time is when children come into the forest and they go, oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. and then we get to say back to them, uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. and that means that we're friends. I rejoice then. So you're like echoing the, oh, oh, oh. I love that. So you're, you're bursting. Your soul is magnifying the Lord. Oh, so why don't you think about when you feel this bursting? full of God's love, and you can hardly stand it, so you just have to be quiet sometimes. <sighs> so that those are the words I wanted us to learn today. Gaudate. Gaudate. Rejoice. <laughs> and magnify. <laughs> yeah. Magnify. <laughs> <laughs> so and a, a hymn that we sing a lot in, in Advent is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, and the refrain uses rejoice. So let's close with that refrain. And remember, it goes like this. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. Let's sing that again. Okay. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. And I was singing it in the old words I grew up. I was saying, come to thee. And then Auli was saying, come to you. And that means the same thing. <clears throat> That just shows how old I am. Oh, was that's what I was going to say. And Pastor Dan, who is here, is even older than me. But so it's so wonderful to be with you all. Let's let's close together with a prayer. Dear loving God, we are grateful for this time to be with our Grace community. We are grateful for the moments of rejoicing in our lives for all for Mary's magnifying you for the gift of your son whom we await and we bless these candles as they light our way in this time of darkness and we look forward to Christmas when we celebrate your birth be with all the children and their families and grandparents who are with us Keep them safe and in good health. Keep them joyful. And we are grateful for this church home. We are grateful that you have brought us all together to be a part of grace and that you hold us in your grace. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do you have anything Amen. to say? Now the camera has to get up off the floor and try to turn this off. Bye, everybody.